I left school with an O-level in structuralist discourse. Structuralist discourse. My mama said, son, do your A-levels, but I couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. I swept the floors at Asda and I stacked shelves at Tesco. Tesco's, Tesco's. Deep inside I knew I want to curate. He wants to curate. I'd read Julia Kristeva, I'd read Louis Althusser. I'd read Walter Benjamin, so I could go far. He could go far. To be a top-notch curator, you need to know fuck all. Oh, no, fuck all. Go to Venice a lot, think of titles for shows. Titles for shows. Well, artists, they don't know much about their own practice. Practice, practice. Curating isn't easy, but the need for it grows. It grows and grows. You need Theodore Adorno. You need Guy Debord on art. You need Jean Baudrillard. And you need Roland Bart. Roland Bart. In the old days, poor old Rembrandt never had a curator. No curator. No one analysed his practice or entitled his shows. his shows. Da Vinci and Velasquez, hell, they were just painters. Only painters. How they made it in the art world, God only knows. God only knows. Without Jürgen Habermas, without Herbert Marcuse, without Claude Levi Strauss, hell, what was the use? What was the use? Without John Baudrillard, without Guy Debord on art, without Jacques Lacan, and without Roland Bard, without Jacques Derrida, without Louis Althusser, without Michel Foucault either, they couldn't get far. And what about Hannah Arendt, huh? Or Gilles Deleuze, what about him? Chomsky! You haven't even mentioned Chomsky.